Good afternoon. We're here at the Auburn Housing Authority meeting for January 5th, 2016. And could we everybody pledge allegiance to the flag, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any public comment? Seeing none, we'll move on. Discussion and vote to accept the minutes of the regular meeting held on December 1st, 2015. I need a motion. So moved. I need a second. Second. Any discussion? I'll um, approve. Aye. Aye. I'm going to abstain because I wasn't here. Don't abstain? Okay. Okay, next. Discussion and vote to accept the check registers of for November and December 2015th. What was that, Roberta? Okay, that's right. So moved. I'll second. Everybody all set with it? Any opposed? Can I just say no. one thing? No. No, go right ahead. <laughs> you get November and December because I couldn't send out November's because the end of the month was prior to when the board packets needed to be sent. Mm -hmm. So I had to wait until I could close out. It, like in order for you to get your packet on Friday, mm -hmm. the month hadn't ended. So that's why you have November and December together. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, discussion and vote to accept the changes to the flat rent amount. Mounts. I vote to accept the changes in the flat rent I'll second amount. with discussion. Board discussion. Okay, go ahead, Ann. I was just wondering where these came from. HUD. They're from HUD. So they standardized rates? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. A big leap. It is a huge leap. Yeah, too big, big. It actually is, but. The utilities are going to enter into it on the two and three bedrooms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean for the families because they'll get a new utility allowance. But the it is a big jump. But HUD determines what it is, and we double checked with them prior to calculating this out. So. Okay. All in favor? Are you done, Ian? Excuse yeah, me. No, I just was curious. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Discussion and vote to accept the proposed federal capital fund budget. So moved. A second. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor? Aye. 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 And one thing I want to say on that is we need to, um, how told me we need to start putting more into operations. I, I stopped doing that, but I needed to put it back in because the rents aren't covering our expenses. We've always had it in the past, but I was trying to put more into the, to do, you know, less, in, more into the developments. But he said I had to make this switch. Who was that, Howie? Yeah, to offset the, um, the rents. So that's why. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, discussion and vote to accept the proposed state capital fund budget. Do I have a motion to so approve? No, Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? None. Discussion and vote to sign a certification of compliance for federal and state lead paint laws. Second. Second. Any questions? There being none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Okay, now this you have to actually sign. And I'll fill out the, the top of it, but this ends, this has to get submitted with the state capital budget. They won't accept it without it. Okay, so you sign where it says chairperson. Underneath it or right next to it? Yeah, you can sign next to it, I guess. Oh, I don't care either way. But um, they... 
they require that with the other. And we know we don't have lead because we had that big assessment done. So other than that bench that's in the attic, we're good. And we're out, we were all allowed to keep that because it's not in public. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how to dispose of it anyway. Right. It would have to be with hazardous materials. So we just put it up there. Yeah. We're fine. I know, but just but I just wanted everybody to know. Where oh yeah, because I didn't know how how we were going to do this meeting, so I figured I just sent you all the stuff. But you know how you asked me what reports I send in? Yes, that's good. So that way you have an idea. Absolutely. Are we, oh, is, are we on my report now? No. Well, we're waiting I for. Just just had a question. These signatures, but I think we can move on. Because that wasn't on the. We'll go right to the director's report. So you want me to go? Go. All right. We have um, one vacancy right now in the back of Hackachog Village. We did have an applicant look at it today, so we're just waiting to just to find out if she's going to accept that um, apartment. But that's our only vacancy right now. We um, still have a lot of work to do. They, they have a lot of windows to put in, so they're going to be trying to do windows even this winter if they can get decent days. But the windows are in storage, so we want to kind of keep going with the process. They won't be doing any siding until the weather actually breaks because it just isn't, oh, no. isn't mm -hmm. safe. Cracks and everything else. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But the windows, if they can do that, then they'll keep going in that process. Um, I've, I'm going to put in another request for records destruction because I'm going to try to keep it so that every year where we're like one year behind mm -hmm. on what we can destroy so that we're not stockpiling a bunch of old stuff anymore. So when I do that, then I'll, I'll send you a copy of that. We did get rid of the old truck. We had to kind of scrap it, but... Did you have a ceremony for it? <laughs> that poor thing. It was like we had taken it off the road, and then we ended up putting it back on the road. And then the other truck, the dump truck broke down, and it was like, next thing I know, there's the blue truck going down the road. I'm like, what the heck? So then it's gone now. And we've turned it in the plates, so, you know, it's all done, and we get a letter from the insurance company, we're good. So. The blue truck no longer has died. Is is to rest. <laughs> and it was like, oh, you're gonna try to sell it, and we're like, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. So that's the deal with the blue truck, and um, we're just still getting ready for audits. They're gonna, um, it, the state, as part of their new transparency thing, um, they are auditing, in addition to. The state auditors, how they normally came out, there's a special, you have to request auditors to come in to audit the state program, in addition to the state auditor's office. <coughs> so we're waiting for the state auditor's office, we're waiting for this special team to come out, and then we're hearing that the housing management specialists from DHCD are also coming out. So we'll have We'll have quite a few state audits this did, spring. Did they say why? I think because there's been so many problems, mm -hmm. you know, that they're trying to not get caught again. You know, so it's not enough to just have people self-report. It's a good idea to come out and check once in a while. Mm -hmm. So. The, uh, the auditors that are going to audit the state auditors, are they like an independent auditing firm? Yeah, you know how yeah. um, they used to have Hurley and yep. Hurley and Hurley? 
Mm -hmm. Hurley and Hurley and Hurley are one of those people. <laughs> there were like three groups that you could pick from, yeah. and the Hurley brothers were one of the picks. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to be just doing federal now. They're They've actually the been hired the by the state. Gotcha. I mean, it's not going to cost no. us any money. No, it's good. But, <laughs> I mean, I think it's a good idea, because if you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, it would be nice to know. If you don't know, right? Right. And if you yeah. do know, then shame on you. Well, <laughs> hopefully there's a reason it. for it. Well, yeah, and you got to stop. Right. So I think instead of just saying, you know, we're going to just believe everything that we send in, you know, like the lead paint, for example, we could just have you. I could just have you fill this out. I could just go through and say compliant, compliant, compliant. Right. And how would we know? And how would you know? Right. We didn't know about that bench. Right. No. And you can't just assume that because something was built prior to, or after 1978, that you don't have lead. Right. So by paying for that, you know you don't have it. Lead inspection. We clearly know that we're all set. Right. And I can have you sign with confidence. Right. Right. Because we right. have all those lead yep. reports yep. for each right. apartment, which is, which is a good thing. You know, but fortunately, and we got reimbursed for that. So that was that was okay. Um, the evaluations we can probably do that under my executive director's gonna, report. I was just going to do it under members' items, but it's up to you. Yeah, we can just do it and get it over with. I was evaluated by all the board members. The um, all board members have copies of theirs and everybody else's evaluation. Um, Wayne and Roberta got together and they tabulated the. <laughs> they tabulated the scores, and here you go. And out of the score of um, 960 to be the top, she had gotten a 734. Actually, I thought it was a very good evaluation by the board. And they did better than last year. Yeah. I'm, so I'm improving. You're improving. You still got work to do, though. I know. <laughs> <laughs> she actually had it. Just saying. Very good. Yeah. Well, like you said, it was an improvement. It Anytime wasn't. it's an improvement, it's better. It's, we're moving forward. That's, that's a good thing. It wasn't bad last year is what I'm saying. And I will be picking weeds at Packachog Village. Wayne's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, hmm. that was um, one of the things. But, you know, based upon the p complaints that we get, we're going to just keep trying to move forward and eliminate, you know, residents' concerns and do the best we can with the money that we have and, and go forward. Well, the thing is, too, is the, the residents that live here have to understand there's some things you can do and there's some things you can't do. But we're going to do everything as a committee to work together to make things better. But it doesn't always mean one person or this person or that's going to be done this way or that way. It's all working together to make it work. And that's what we're here for. And, we have and we're not, and we always have good parts and bad parts, and that's the way it's always going to be. Excuse what was that, Roberta? I'm sorry. And, and we have to follow state and federal regulations. Absolutely. Yeah. And I have um, some health issues, so. I've notified the state and I've notified HUD that I may be having um, surgery, so I'm going to try to avoid that as best I can and so that I won't be out for an extended period of time. But I did put them on notice and they were they were very good about it. So. Well, just, as, far, as far as that goes, I don't think you really have, well, you do worry, obviously, yeah. but I mean, you need to worry about your health before you need to worry about what's going on here. And if the thing is, if we need to adjust a little bit to make things run smoothly, then if that needs to be done, this board will do it. And I believe everybody would back us. So as far as that goes, any office staff and everybody, you know, so. And I only live up the street, so it's not uh, like I'm going to be that far. So anything that needs to. If we need to make a phone call. If, yep. As far as that goes, but I do I, have that 1495 phone. 
Yeah. $14.95 I paid for it. We really don't want to talk about that phone. Yeah. <laughs> no. So. But. But, but that's we, just to let you, you know, but I'll know better. I'll let everybody know. So we wish you well. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, because I'm on everybody's prayer list now. You absolutely are. It's like I'm getting, people are asking me, you know, you look all right. What's the matter with you? So you all better now then? No. <laughs> Not quite. But that blood flow plot. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. <laughs> See, I forgot about that one. That's where the lapses come in. But, yeah, so it is heart related and it's been since, it's been. Two thousand seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we have blockages, and I'm hoping they'll clear them out. But if not, then we might have to go the bypass route. So we'll see what they have to say. Well, that's all you can do. Don't stretch yourself out over it. But as far as I can see, not we're easy. In, but we're in in good shape, and the staff. Well, I mean, they've been here long enough. They know what they're supposed to do, and. Mm -hmm. It'll get done. Mm -hmm. And if they have any questions, they know yeah, who to call. Get. Yeah, we well, let's just wait and see what happens with your test and everything else. <coughs> and then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, I mean, I think all the board will support you as far as your health issues go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And do anything we can to step up if we need to, to, to help. Picking those weeds, weeds, weeds. Say that again? Picking the weeds. Picking the weeds. Well, you'll be all better by then so we can pick weeds? Yeah. Hope okay. So. I hope I can bend over without <laughs> falling over. Yeah. We can let you sit on the ground. Yeah. <coughs> we'll get you a little caddy thing. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> okay, you all set with the director's report? Unless no? anybody else has any questions. Okay, anything under members' items? I have a couple, unless somebody else has other things too. One, um, I'd like to know if you, you all set with the guys with the plowing and sanding for this year. You got all the equipment you need and up to date and taken care of? We, um, the town gave us those blades, the edges. Yes, cutting edges. And we're going to reimburse for the them yeah. for those. So the plows, that did get taken care of. The yellow truck and the dump truck got really good tires. Like the best tread. Is that the town fair tire bill? Town fair tire bill. Sorry, I'm like, yeah. holy moly, somebody that, got tires. It was the tires. And we got the tread, because they use those for plowing, the dump truck and mm -hmm. the yellow truck. So we figured, well, must it, they were expensive, but hopefully they'll last. And I don't want anything to happen, you know, because we didn't have good ones. But the, um, the last vehicle to get tires will be the van. And I figured I'd wait till the new budget year before we did that. But that was the town fair tire bill. So. You feel comfortable then? Well, I mean, it, it's a safe thing. These, right. Good. Yeah. So they're going to get the, um, the sand salt mix from the town. They, they help us by loading the sander. The yep. sander we just bought last January, so that should be okay. Okay. You know, and if, if push comes to shove, then we have backup. Well, you just don't want to get into another year like we had last year, I'm not saying that we're going to or aren't. Yeah, but, because um, we are down You want to be all ready, ready to go, and mm -hmm. as far as that stuff goes. We, we did lose that blue truck, so we are, mm -hmm. we are down a plow truck, but hopefully... Yeah, wasn't that an improvement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have that plow, but <laughs> the truck is, is gone. Okay. No, sir. Okay, and I had another item. I'm not sure how we should do it or the way you want to discuss it or bring it up at a, a non-scheduled meeting or a meeting is to see about with the problems that we had down at Pheasant Court. I like to see about um, 
talking to Mike Moore and any other officials we have to to see if we can get some policies changed through the state and federal government on going in earlier in the 48 hours, see if we get that knocked down or see if we can change some things so when something does happen that we can go in and right away and that's one idea but I'd like the committee to see if they can come up with anything in the policies or anything they would like to see be changed. You know, we're here to make things better and what happened was not because of this board, but this board needs to keep moving forward and if we can see changes that could be done through our government, we should bring it forward as a group. Yes, we're gonna. To add to that, I think it would be nice if we asked Paul Frost and Karen Polito, and the governor, if he wants to come, yeah. to see if they can help us because they, you know, to, to push to get these things changed. And I was at a, uh, a meeting that Karen Polito was asked at, and she is willing to come for anything that we want, if we want to have some kind of a function that, uh, you know, we have questions that she, she would be willing to, to come. Well, I had contacted Karen Pleto many times and with no response. Yeah. Well, so, and as far as Paul Frost him. goes, he's he was very. He was a re he's a he's a he's, he, he's a state representative, which we need to go through. But we need to set a thing that it will be run to benefit the housing, and there won't be any misleading issues during that process. I don't think there because there was. I don't think there will be. That's good yeah, then. That, I, I'll have be more. that kind of a meeting that we're inviting <clears throat> officials for that yeah. particular reason but I, to get some things changed. But right. before we do that, we need to get our ducks in a row as to what we exactly. want to discuss. That's why I brought it up. Absolutely. So I remember, can I have a chance to come up with something? If you don't, you don't. But we can bring it to but the we next can, meeting. Maybe. You can bring it to the next meeting. Or even get it to Laurie, and she can put it in uh, um, packets for you, or whatever way you want to do it. And I think from any way, our end, we're gonna we already decided we we're gonna increase the number of inspections. Right. Right. We did that. We yeah. did that, and we will continue to do that. Right. The cameras. Yeah, the cameras are coming. The lights. Oh, good. Now this is stuff too. Yeah. Because they they don't they're not in contact with us all the time that you can put we can put it in a letter form and say this is processes that we have started as a committee right. yeah. already and we're looking for more guidance and help how to change this this or this. That's what I'm saying. We need to right. put, whatever our questions are, we need to bring them out ahead of time well, so that we have everything ready that we want so we get all our answers because they're not going to want to keep coming back. Imagine. Right. Very busy. No, that's that's why it's right. went through the committee first. Right. The other thing is we well, have taken legal action for the lease violations, so we have the, our residents, a number of residents, under agreement, and we have more to come. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's another th uh, that's addition. another addition to it from our end of it. Right. As far as the office <clears throat> is concerned. Right. And we just, um, you know, to try to improve how we go about our business. Go ahead, another Roberta. Thing, another thing is the um, communication between uh, state and federal yeah. personnel. Because DCF. We, yes, DCF and anybody else that's involved. We need to have much better communication. Well, I have a number to call now, which is a good thing. Right. And they are giving us, when we ask for something, we are getting it. Good. And we changed our um, release for authorization to include DCF and the public schools. Good. Okay, good. So that the residents have signed that we can get these records. Right, which right, makes right. a big difference because even with the schools, without that release, they won't tell us. Right. Right. <clears throat> And they, they know pretty much more than we do, like where a child is living, you know, what parent they're calling. Oh, definitely. You know, 
So by, by getting the um, authorization changed, it allows us to get more information. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, you know how I feel about the DCF, how the way they handled that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm not going to keep banging on it, but... Does I, the state notify us when somebody under their authority moves into a housing project? No. no. It's a Why not? Act. Well, that's my problem. Mm -hmm. Because you got either your privacy have, act or death, and that's what happened in that case. Yes. Well, the thing is that they require so many feet per person. Right. Oh, yeah, right. And how do we know, unless they notify us, of who's there? You're 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Plus, it also but it's it's all, pay for rent. Well, not only that, but also it's the people that live in that house should notify us too so mm -hmm. it's that that goes both ways yeah. yes it, it goes DCF and the people that are occupying the apartment mm -hmm. are supposed to register they register with the, the office on what who's living there and if they don't do it then this committee or the director or anybody doesn't know it unless somebody lets you know yeah. like even with restraining orders yes. yeah exactly yes, but like I said we had a great meeting with the chief of police about working better with us, and he agreed to do so. So, I mean, we, we're moving forward, and we're going to get it done to the best that we can as a committee mm -hmm. to, for the safety of all the residents in our community in right. housing. That's all we can do. Mm -hmm. So that's why I brought it up again, because I'd like to see if anybody has any issues that they see could be changed. And when we do go, as Roberta was saying, talking to these representatives, state representatives, Karen Polito, Baker, Mike Moore. Mike Moore has already stepped up to the plate a few times mm -hmm. as far as this issue goes. And he, he'll come and do anything you want. He can't guarantee you, which I, I agreed with him, is that what we bring forward doesn't mean that he's going to be able to change everything. I said that's not, that the point is, at least we're moving forward on our end mm -hmm. to try to get these changed and if they don't get changed that's not on our fault because we're here trying to protect our own community and that's the best we can do and we need their support and if it doesn't happen then that could create another problem oh, yeah. so <laughs> just move slowly and work on it and see what we can do to get it all together and we can have them come here we can go there. I don't care how they want to do it. But we need some communication. And I was very disappointed that uh, the governor or Karen Plato or have not contacted the urban housing about issues or about the whole issue that happened. I would believe they should have said at least checked in and see if every, everything was okay and everything was running right and the director was all right and everything else because of the magnitude of what happened. And we did hear from DHCD though, and we did send them everything that oh, we Oh, did had. you? Oh, yeah. We did hear from them that piece of the state. Okay. <laughs> right. But we've got to get no, yeah. we got to get all the pieces together like a puzzle. Right. And right. move forward. Communication in a lot of places is 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 a hard thing. You know, people just don't communicate well. And every it seems every entity. And just one, you know, everything is separate and they, they just don't communicate with each other and we need to do that, but we have to stay within the law to do it. Right, but the thing is too, is when it becomes to children dying and right. not only in the urban um, housing thing, but all around the state you see it. That's what I'm saying. And, and it's terrible the way that the kids are being mishandled and I'm totally against what they're doing. And hopefully, we can communicate and get things better. It's not only children, though; no, it's, it's elderly people too. Well, you're right. But I'm basically going with um, the DCF with the kids is really a big thing with me right now. But you're absolutely right. You know, as far as seniors go and stuff like that, we're going to make sure they're protected too. And you know, time time just keeps going by. That was in August. Yeah. You know, we just can't forget. No. 
try to you can't, you can't move forget. forward with something. And the thing is with me is nobody, there was no accountability there at all. Losing a child and almost losing another, whether I don't know the update on that child, not as of lately. Just just recently they said on the news that, that the, the, uh, they're still supposed to be pending arrests or something, or there may be. Maybe oh, they did. See, I didn't see that. Oh, thanks. And that may be just the media that's saying that. I don't know. I don't know if they go as far as saying that, but well, <laughs> it's the media. But hopefully, I mean, I don't think the death of that, that child was, mm -hmm. was right and it wasn't handled in a proper way and somebody should pay the consequences for it. Well, overhousing is a big problem. And that was not our, our doing. That was definitely not our doing. There's, you're absolutely right. And if anyone say so, I'd back this committee to the hills and not give them a hundred reasons why after reading that report. Right. That was horrendous. Absolutely. I mean, I don't want to try to go too far with this because then I'll get <laughs> where I was before. <laughs> There, but, there are things that we can do, we need to do. Right. On, on our end, as far as the office goes, that we can be more diligent in how we go about our business, too. Right. Yeah. And that is a positive change. And I just, I think any change that we can, or any awareness that we can push on this is... Right. In other words... Mm -hmm. As long as I'm part of the housing, part of this community, I am not going to let this go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just not going to be in vain because of what right. what happened. We just can't let it. No, we're not going to let it go away. No. But, and hopefully we, if the politicians that don't want to deal with us start dealing with us because we won't let it go away, that's a good thing too. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any yet, well, quite personally, that have, that have turned away from this. I have not. Well, I know one of them, and I'm not going to bring it up this onto this meeting. Um, on another note, sure, go ahead. finished. Yes. Have we heard anything more about Julia Bancroft? Have you? Nothing. All I've heard, I inquired like, before I went away. I inquired, and she's applied for a grant. Right. It's a different. I forgot. It was, it's compact something, and she, I don't know how long it takes to get a response. But she hasn't heard anything since. And she had it's probably sent, been five or six weeks since she applied. Sorry, I'm sorry. She had sent a, um, information on a webinar about 202 housing and. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. She had um, that they were doing a webinar, so I purchased the CD and the transcript. Good. So Good. that if for, by chance we can't watch it, we have the information. When is that? Do you know? The webinar. Sometime this month, but I'll. Um, I ordered it, and I'll just make sure that all the board members get the, the information on that housing. Yeah. And I thought it was very nice of her to send it to us as like an FYI. Yeah, no, it's you a know? good thing. It yeah. explains, I guess, the housing, the different sections. And right. Well, 202, that's what the Kateri housing is. And then there was another one. I didn't, it was more towards veterans, mm -hmm. which is okay, but... Um, I did order the CD and the transcript, and I'll make sure that you guys all get the copies so that you can look at it. Good. So at least we'll have more information. That's good. Good. The only thing I've heard is rumors, and you know how they fly. Well, yeah, they do fly. <laughs> um, anything else under members? I'm all set. Okay. Any more public comment? Or, I guess not. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Oh, we got to set a date. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, can, yeah we could finish the vote. <laughs> well, whatever. Go ahead. We can set it now. Um, February. First Tuesday of the month is what? Is the first. The first. Tuesday. The first? Well, wait a minute, that's March right now. February would be... Uh, yeah, the first, first Tuesday is the second. The second? February 2nd. So that's when it's going to be then, right? Yep. February 2nd, 3.30. Okay. 
Okay, now. Uh, Are we adjourned? No, all in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So be it.